Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. He was high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. The seraphims, one with speed and one with fire, they cried, Holy, holy, holy to the Lord. And that service is, is in progress then, is also in progress now. And tonight we join that service and we raise our hands and we lift our voice and we say, come, come, you come. Come from where you are. Let us worship the Lord. The Lord. Let's lift our hands. Our hands to the Lord. the holy God he's calling us to holiness oh come let us let's worship the Lord there was a lamb that was slain before the foundations of the world Behold the Lamb. Come on, behold Him. Takes away the sins of the world. Bow down. Give praise unto the Lamb. Behold the Lamb. For the Lord our God. Hallelujah. 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 So great. Greatly to be praised. Great and mighty. The scripture tells us to rejoice in the Lord always. 
and again I say rejoice. Brother Reggie, Brother Reggie, Brother Reggie is coming to us tonight to sing rejoice in the Lord. Put your hands together. Can I get a little bit more volume? Oh, oh, oh. Come on, everybody, and come on and rejoice.
earthquakes in diverse places, floods, fires. We need help. But I heard the voice. Come on, choir. Sing it. Of Jesus, sing. Come. Come unto me and rest. The Holy Writ is rest. Lie down thy weary, Lie down thy weary one. one down Thank you, Jesus. And He'll give you peace in your mind, joy in your soul. was sad, but guess what? I found him here. Rest in place. He's made me glad. Jesus has come that we might have life. And life more abundantly. Come from wherever you are. Somebody's sick tonight. But he'll heal you. Somebody's downtrodden. But he'll lift you up. Somebody's grieving. But he'll hold you. He'll caress you. He'll comfort you. He will give you strength.
What a blessing it is to be in the house of the Lord. Can we clap our hands and give God praise, everybody? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I was glad when they said unto me, let's go into the house of the Lord. I'm a church boy. It's something about coming to church. It's something about coming to church. I know we've been in pandemic and some people have decided I'm just going to stay away and do the virtual. It's something about me putting my foot in the house of the Lord. Something about me just coming into the building, into the brick of the mortar. But whether you be in the brick of the mortar, whether you be in the virtual, I'm just glad we're together today. And I'm glad that we can worship the God and the beauty of holiness. I'm glad to be in the land of the living. I'm glad to be free. I'm glad to be saved. And I'm glad to know beyond the shadow of a doubt that God is real. I said he's real. I said he's real. You let folk keep talking what they're talking, but God is real. Let folk keep doing what they're doing, but God is real. Let folks keep trying to act like you don't matter. God is real. And let God be true and every man be a liar. We are grateful to the Lord. We thank God for 25 years. 25 years. 25 years. 20, a quarter of a century, a quarter of a century that we have lived to see, that we have, and we've been through, we've been through thorns and thistles, and we, we've been through ups and downs, we've been through ins and outs, but at the end of the day, we want to say, we're still here, and we, and now that we're still here, we got our right mind. Not only are we still here, we know we still here. Can't get no witness in here. I'm just not in the land of the living, just occupying space. But I'm in the land of the living, uh, and I know my name. I know my address. Uh, I know what one and one is. Uh, I'm in the land of the living, uh, and I am yet able to say he's a good God. He's a great God. Come on. Nobody had to dress me. I dressed myself. He's a good God. He made ways for us. He's opened doors for us. He's kept us. So many people are gone. So many people have left. But I'm grateful that the Lord has allowed our golden moments to roll on. If you're glad to be of the number, put your hands together and praise him. If you're glad to be of the number, one more time, give him praise. Glad to be of the number. Songwriter said he didn't have to let me live. Hallelujah! But I'm glad to be in the number. And if we've ever taken life for granted, I know we're not doing it now. If we've ever taken life for granted and just act like God owes us something, with all that we have been through and are going through, I know we are not doing that now. We are grateful for every second. Every second and every day above ground is a good day. Hallelujah. Every day above ground is a good day. I'm not six feet under. I'm, 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 I'm over the ground. I'm uh, on top of the ground. I'm walking. I'm talking. I'm living. I'm breathing. And I'm grateful. Amen. So we thank God for you that are joining us today. We're going to the word of the Lord. We again are saying to you, uh, don't miss our 25th church anniversary. Uh, don't you miss it. Don't you miss it. The banquet is on the 24th, and we're having homecoming on that Sunday morning, and that Sunday night, uh, we're going to have a concert. So you make sure you be with us. Uh, uh, we got a special guest coming to us on that Sunday morning. Amen. We're going to have great church. Going to have great church. And I want you to be a part of us. I'm just glad to be here. Amen. Glad to be here. Matthew chapter 15, starting at verse number 22. And when you have it, let's say amen. Uh, you don't have to stand today to read with me, but uh, listen while I read. And behold, a certain woman of Canaan came out of the same coasts and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil she's grievously vexed with the devil but he answered her not a word but he answered her not a word 
His disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. Verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Verse 25. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Verse 26 says, but he answered and said, it is not meat to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs. And she said, truth, Lord, truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee even as thou will. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. But be it as thy will. And thy daughter, and her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Amen. I'm not going to give up until I get what I want. I'm not going to give up until I get what I want. I'm not going to give up until I get what I want. We're, if we're going to make it, we're going to need tenacity. Uh, uh, you're going to need to have stick to it and, and you're not going to, if you're going to make it, you're going to have to learn how to, uh, you know, roll with the punches. You're going to have to learn how to endure hardness as a good soldier. You're going to learn, you're going to have to learn how to keep going no matter what. You are not going to be liked by everybody, so get over it. You're not going to be loved by everybody, so get over it. People, everybody's not going to want to help you. So everybody's not going to be happy for you just because it is you. So if you're looking for appreciation, you're not always going to have that. And so if appreciation fuels what you're motivated to do, then you're not going to be able to do much because uh, appreciation and encouragement doesn't come so easy doesn't come and then even the ones that are in your corner are still not in your corner but if you're going to make it uh, you're going to have to have a determination within yourself you're going to have to have a made up mind within yourself hell the high water sink or swim live or die somehow i'm going to make it you're going to have to be committed to say no matter what no matter who, no matter how, no matter when, my heart is fixed. You gotta have to have a heart fixed. My heart is fixed. Shanda. My heart is fixed. My mind is made up. It's gonna take a made up mind. It's gonna take a made up mind. People are vacillating. People are non-committal. People are iffy. People are trifling. People are one day here, one day there. And those are not going to make it. You know, a, a devil-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. Uh, we've got people, every time you see them, there's something different. There's something else. Uh, it's something else they're going to concocted to come up with but if you're going to have to be determined and you're going to have to be so focused to say I am determined to go through I am determined to make it I am determined to stay in the race I am determined to stay with God I am determined to be resilient I am determined to uh, to persevere I am determined to keep going I am determined to stay the course I am determined to get victory in this uh, so uh, life happens not 
just for people who fall down but life really happens for people to get back up because in each life some rain gonna fall you're gonna have to you're gonna have good days and bad days you're gonna have days you feel like you don't go in you're gonna have days when you don't feel like going you're gonna have days when you feel like you can run through troops and run over hot buildings and you're going to have days when you feel like you are just leveled to the ground but no matter what kind of day I am having this is the day can get no witness in here you got to be determined like that no matter what the gossipers are saying no matter what the naysayers are saying no matter what the enemies are saying this is the day that the Lord has made I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Get yourself together. Get your mind together. Get your spirit together. Stop letting people have you like a yo-yo. Stop allowing yourself to go through changes like that. You know, be determined to say, listen, this is who I am. And I'm not going nowhere. I'm not backsliding. I'm not going to the left. I'm not going to the right. I'm going to stay the course. My heart is fixed. I'm going to lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord that made the heavens and the earth. My help ain't coming from you. So that's why I'm not going to fall out when I don't get it. My help ain't coming from you. It's not coming from the economy. My help is not coming from my best friends. Uh, my help is coming from the Lord. You see, when you are uh, motivated only by the help that you get or the encouragement that you get, uh, what happens on the days that you don't get it? What happens on the days that people turn against you? Because, you know, folk will do that to you. They'll love you today and hate you tonight. Uh, they'll say, I'll be, I'm with you now, and they'll leave you shortly thereafter. Some folk are just in it to get where they can get out of you. And I, so don't allow yourself uh, to become fixated on the fact of I got my posse with me. With or without a posse. With or without uh, Ace Boone Coon. With or without uh, the Amen Corner. With or without you, I'm determined to make it. I'm determined to make it because I've been through too much to quit. I'm determined to make it because I've been through too much to quit. You ever stop and look back over your life and think of the things that have happened to you and the people that have went through less gave up. People that have went through less have done things to hurt themselves. People that have been through less than you have have just given up on life. But I am, I am, I've got that stick to itiveness to say if God could do all this if he can bring me all this way certainly he can bring me through this I've seen demons like that before I've had problems like that before I've had situations like that before but the same God that brought me out last year the same God that brought me out yesterday is the same God that's going to bring me out today so no I I'm not quitting. So no, I'm not giving up. So no, I'm not fainting. So no, I'm not backsliding. I'm going to stand the storm. It won't be long. I'm going to anchor. Uh, you hate me because I won't give up. I know I annoy you. But you see, giving up is for the faint-hearted. Giving up is for those that don't have much to lose. It's too much at stake for me to give up. It's too much at stake for me to quit. I've come too far. Listen, I wish that everybody would love me, but I know they don't. But I'm not losing no sleep over it. Uh, listen, I may look like I'm tired, but I'm not tired from that. I'm not losing any sleep over it. I'm not getting bent out of shape because you don't love me. I need somebody to put your hands on yourself and say, God's with me. I'm not losing no sleep because you don't speak to me. 
there was a day there may have been a time there may have been a season when I felt that way but I have grown I have matured I have tasted and seen that the Lord is good I, whatever state I find myself in I've learned how to be content I've learned how to make it with I've learned how to make it without but the point is I've learned to make it I'm making it I'm making it listen I want to share with somebody today you are closer than you've ever been you are closer to the breakthrough than you've ever been do not I'm not ignorant concerning the, uh, the devices of the enemy. Uh, he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus comes that we can have life uh, and have that more abundantly. Uh, you are closer to the miracle uh, than you've ever been. Uh, I need somebody to raise your hands, open your mouth, and thank God for miracle. Uh, open your mouth. Open your mouth and give him praise for it. Yeah, you're closer. <laughs> you're closer, yeah. Yeah, you had to cry. Yes, you had to walk by yourself. Yes, you were misunderstood. Yes, you felt like giving up, but you didn't do it. You are closer today than you've ever been. You're closer to financial uh, independence. You're closer to uh, uh, raises and promotion. You're closer to uh, your breakthrough that you've been praying for. You prayed for this. You've been fasting for this. You've been looking. You've been reaching for this. You are closer today than you've ever been. Somebody raise your hands and give God a close praise. Too close to give up. Too close to fall out. Too close to faint. I had fainted. Unless I believed to see the goodness of the Lord and in the land of the living. I'm not going to give up until I get what I want. I'm not going to give up until I get what I want. The Bible says that he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder. Don't you know who we're dealing with? Don't you know who we are dealing with? We're dealing with the omnipotent, the omniscient, the omnipresent, the Elyon. We're dealing with the El Shaddai. We're dealing with the creator of the universe. He is the one that sits high and looks low. We are dealing with the rewarder. He is a rewarder. He's coming to reward you. Reward you for your pain. Reward you for your sorrow. Reward you for your trouble. Reward you for your disdain. He's coming to reward you. This sermon ain't for everybody today. This sermon is for the people that's been through some stuff. Some stuff I couldn't even tell you. Some stuff I got to keep to myself. Because people wouldn't even understand if I told you what I went through and what I've been through. They wouldn't even understand it. But know what I tell you. When I look back, my soul looks back and wonder how I got over. There's no give up in me. I'm not going to give up until I get what I want. Let the church say yes. Somebody raise your hand and give them praise. People see us, but they don't know us. They see us. They admire your clothing. They admire the way you comb your hair. They admire, you know, 
nice things about you. But they don't even understand that the struggle you had, the hand-me-downs you had to wear, they don't even understand the trouble that you had getting where you are right now. And when you look in the mirror, I see an overcomer. When you look in the mirror, I see stick to everness. When I look in the mirror, I see someone that says I'm not quitting because quitters never win and winners never quit. When I look in the mirror, I see myself as God sees me more than a conqueror. Let the church say yes. I'm more than a conqueror. Hills and mountains, more than a conqueror. The devil in the deep blue sea, but more than a conqueror. Thorns and thistles, but more than a conqueror. Seen some come, seen some go, but more than a conqueror. I am resilient. I am in the race. I'm not giving up. I'm not going nowhere because he's a rewarder. People see us, but they don't understand. They don't understand where the drive is coming from. The drive is coming from the greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. The motivation is coming from the one that sits high and looks low and said, I'll be with you when everybody else leaves you. I'll be with you. Yea, though you walk through the valley and shadow of death, I'm not here. I'm not here because I was so handsome that I threw God into loving me. I'm not so, I'm not here because I was so holy that I made him bring me. But when I was yet in sin, dead and trespassing in sin, when I was on a hellbound train to nowhere, he stopped the hellbound train to let me off. And when he let me off, he gave me a song to sing. He gave me a message to preach. He gave me a reason to live. I don't know why. Jesus loves me. I don't know why he cares. I don't know why sacrificed his life wow wow but I'm glad I'm so glad he did I'm here because he pulled me out of the muck and mire I'm here because he established my goings I'm here because he called me his I'm here because he made me what I wasn't, I am a peculiar people. I am a royal priesthood. I am a chosen generation. I am. Let the church say yes. Let the church say yes. It's imperative that we know we didn't get here because we were loved by everybody. We didn't get here because people were pushing us to go on. But I I got here because they didn't want me to make it. But I went to the Lord and found out that he told me if a man's ways please me, I'll make his enemies be his footstool. I found out God will bless you when he knows that you are determined to keep going. Let the church say yes. Like me or love me. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to make it. Let the church say yes. I'm not going to give up until I make it. Bible says here 
there was a woman of Canaan who came out of the same coast and cried unto the Lord and said, have mercy on me, thou son of David. She called him by his messianic name, thou son of David. She was not a part of the Jewish tradition. She was not a part of the royal priesthood. But she had a request. But she had a need. You might not be in the in crowd. You might not be full of pedigree. You might not be on the high totem pole. You might, might, might not be a social light. But I heard the songwriter say, I'm a child. I'm a child of the king. I might not have what you have, but I belong to Jesus. And better than that, Jesus belongs to me. I'll tell it wherever I go. Let the church say yes. This woman of Canaan, Canaanite, she comes to Jesus and says, Thou son of David. But he answered, Not a word. And the disciples said, And the people that were around him said, you know, send her away because she crieth after us. If you're gonna make it, you're gonna have to have your mind focused because people huh, will shoo you away, huh, because people huh, will uh, dismiss you, huh, disdain you, huh, people huh, will ignore you. Huh, but when your heart is fixed, when your mind is made up, you don't have to speak to me. You don't have to want me to make it. You don't have to help me. But I know a man by the name of Jesus. I heard about him. I heard he was healing the sick. He was raising the dead. This Canaanite woman said, I'm going. I heard he's in town and I'm going because my daughter needs help. Let the church say yes. Her friends probably told her, he ain't thinking about you. You better not go over there. They don't want to see you. You see, our friends are going to keep us in trouble. That's why we can't look for inspiration from people that are next to us. We can't look for encouragement from those that are sitting next to us. You don't ever have to encourage me. But I got a feeling. You don't ever have to help me. But I got a feeling. I hung in there long enough. You see, if you wanted to stop me, you should have just stopped me when I didn't know any better. You should have stopped me before I taste and see that the Lord was good. But now, I'm not going to give up until I get what I want. I'm not going to give up until I get what I want. May not be Jew, may be Gentile. But it's all right. I'm going to ask the Savior to help me. He promised to strengthen and keep me. He's willing to help me. He'll help you when nobody else will. He'll help you when everybody else turns away. He'll help you when nobody wants to help you. See, yeah. I'm looking up to Jesus my eye is toward heaven he promised me he'll help me I need somebody to raise your hands and praise God for help I'm not 
not giving up until I get what I want. You can't embarrass me. I feel like dancing right here. You can't make me feel bad. You can't try to go off on me. You can't try to humiliate me. I've been through that already. I've already been humiliated. I've already been embarrassed. I've already been left alone. I've already been sad. And I'm still not giving up. And I'm still not quitting. And I'm still not going back. I'll stand if I got to stand by myself. I'll go if I got to go by myself. I'll go. So stop it. You can't hurt me. No, 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 no. You're trying to make me feel bad. But if Jesus goes with me, I'll go anywhere. It's heaven to me, wherever I be, as long as he is there. I counted upward for let his cross to bear. If Jesus goes with me, I'll go. In me anyway. Yeah, I'm going all the way. I'm going because he said he would be with me. I'm going because he told me if I put my trust in him, he'll never let me be confounded. I'm going because he's all I got, but he's all I need. I'm going. Sometimes I look around and see what I have. I look around and see what I have. Sometimes I say, Lord, I don't got nobody but you. I want to help somebody right through here. Nobody but you because uh, I tried my friends and they walked off and left me. I tried family. Family couldn't help me. But he says when your mother and your father forsake you then the Lord will take you up. Somebody feels lonely. Somebody feels that you're by yourself. But I'm going to tell you you're going to make it because the greater one is with you. When your mother leaves you, when your father leaves you, Jesus said, I'll take you up. I'll bear you up. I'll be there. I'll be there. When everybody walks out, I'll step right in. I'll be with you. Sometimes I just feel like shouting because he's with me. He's with me. He's with me. I'm not perfect, but he's with me. I haven't done everything right, but he's with me. I've come short of his glory, but he's with me. And he said, I'll be with you. I'm more than the world that's against you. I need somebody to give God praise because he's with you. No, never alone. Never alone. 
never to leave me alone. No, never alone. No, never alone. He promised never to leave me, never to leave me alone. I want you to encourage somebody and say, God's with you. He's with you. He's with you. He's with you. Somebody has had people turn against you, but don't give up because the Lord is with you. He's more than the whole world that be against you. David said, if I make my bed in hell, behold, he's there. If I take the wings and fly to the uttermost part of the earth, the Lord is there. Yes, he's with us in trouble. He's with us in sorrow. He's with us in pain. He's with us while we're going through. He's with us. That's why I keep coming back. Because he's with me. That's why I keep coming back. Because he's with me. If he wasn't with me, I would have gave up a decade ago. But because he's with me, I've learned how to press in. I've learned how to put my shoulder to the wheel the pedal to the metal and keep going and removing keep going and removing keep going and removing don't let them stop you don't let them block you don't let them hinder you no matter what keep going Let the church say yes. This woman, she said to him, yeah. But he answered not a word. The disciple said, send her away. Some folk, your presence upsets them. Your presence intimidates them. Your presence makes them feel inferior but if I'm not staying away because my presence is too powerful for you I'm not taking the back seat because my presence bothers you some people are just trying to intimidate you they're just trying to make you they're trying to shut you down so you can't be you You've got so much power. You've got so much authority. You're a room changer. You can walk in the room and change it. And they understand that. They see more about you than you see that about you. Because you're a room changer. You're a climate changer. But they're trying to get you to shut down. Hallelujah. But I will not quit until I get what I want. Yes. Speak to me or don't speak to me. I'm showing up and I'm showing up every day. I'm not taking off. I'm not going to be absent. You're going to see my bald head. I'm going to be shaking it. Wait. You want me Oh, I see what it is. I just got it. They're trying to dim your light. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, that's what it is. They want to dim your light because your shine is so bright. But I want to tell you, keep shining. Keep being you. They want to dim your light because your shine is so bright. Okay. I've come to tell you shine it's 
excuse me excuse me I just got a dance report I just got a praise report nothing that they do can dim your light because Jesus gave me this light and I'm going to let it shine <laughs> I'm going to let it shine I won't let it shine stop letting people dim your light I'm not for everyone <laughs> I'm not for everyone I understand people are telling you you're too much but I'm trying to tell them they're not enough I'm not going to quit until I get what I want they have done everything in their power to mess with you they've gotten other people to join the bandwagon and they're messing with you they got everyone that they knew to try to come against you to try to attack you but brethren but brethren but brethren I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us right after this you're going up I'm gonna give you 10 minutes I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to dance that out right after this you're going up right after this you're going up dance it out
Trying to dim you, trying to dim your light, but no, uh, no, 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 no. If you wanted to stop me, you should have did it a long time ago. You should have did it when I was homeless. I need somebody to run right through here. You should have did it when I was jobless. You should have did it when I was all by myself. You should have did it. Now it's too late. I'm at the point of no return. I'm too close to this next miracle. Uh Uh-oh, hold it, hold it. I've been living between two miracles. I'm living between two miracles. What God did yesterday and what he's getting ready to do tomorrow. Sometimes I get weary, but I just think what he did yesterday. And I know what he can do tomorrow. Sometimes I get sad. But when I look what he did yesterday, I know what he can do tomorrow. Hold it. Hold it. I feel like dancing this morning. Surely, surely, goodness and mercy. Goodness and mercy shall follow me. Follow me, shall follow me, shall follow me all the days of my life. Goodness and mercy. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. He's gonna bless you in the city. He's gonna bless you in the field. Bless you when you come in. Bless you when you go out. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I won't quit until I get what I want. I won't quit until I get what I want. I've been on this job too long not to end in a big way. I've been doing this too long not to get paid, honey. I'm going to tell somebody here what you're looking for is going to happen. August is the number eight. It's new beginnings. The new beginning started right here. New beginning started right now. New beginning started right now. New beginning started now. New beginning. I won't quit 
I won't give up until I get what I want. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I came to win. I showed up to win. You know, bench warmer. Come on here. I ain't no man pleaser. He says, if, if you just please me, I'll make your enemies your peace, your footstool. If you please, stop pleasing. Stop trying to please the folk that hate you and please the God that loves you. Post it, post it. Dr. Kevin Bond said it. Stop trying to please the folk that hate you and please the God that loves you. Come on here. We're moving. He answered and said, I am not sent unto the lost. I'm not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. She says, I know I ain't Jewish. I know where you were sent. I know I'm not a part of the covenant, but I got a need. Somebody, somebody here today kind of messed up and kind of fell short of God's glory. But all God's waiting for you to do is get back in your place. If you get back in your place, it's coming. What's coming is greater than what's been. This praise right here is just for the folk that messed up. I only want the folk in the praise that messed up. If you messed up, get in the praise. Because you're getting ready to shift it right here. I messed up. But right where you messed up and right where you say sorry is right where God's getting ready to take you higher. Listen, if you can only see what God's getting ready to do, this is August and in these next September, October, November, December, in these next four months, he's going to make up for all the hell you've been through in these last eight months. And then you know right here, right here. In these next four months, God's gonna make up for all the hell you've been through in the first eight months. I need somebody here to put your feet on the floor right here and give God a, I gotta praise, I gotta praise. Moving on. Honey, 
I got to move it on praise right here. I did that to Somebody got a moving on praise. I got a moving on praise. I got a moving on praise. I've seen some come. I've seen some go. But my heart is fixed. Listen. Listen. The Bible says, after Jesus said, I was, I wasn't sent to you. I was sent to the lost. house of Israel I was sent to them she came right on and, and the disciples said shoot get away get away get away send her away she came right on back and worshipped him saying Lord help me you'll get more help from God if you stop complaining about who don't want you to make it you'll get God's attention if you stop worrying about who's against you here and just fall down and worship him. The, the word worship there means she got prostrate. The way up is the way down. The way to get up and get more from God is lay prostrate. We worship God for who he is. And we praise him. I ain't sent to you. She came right on back in worship. She came right on back in worship. She came right on back in worship. Let me tell you what worship will do for you. Worship will move God's heart. Worship will change his mind toward you. Oh God. Worship will cause him to favor you. Somebody raise your hands and open your mouth and worship God right here. worship him we lift our heads look she worshiped God until he changed his mind verse 26 says but he answered and said, it is not meat to take the children's bread and cast it to the dogs. You're not a part of the house of Israel. But she says, I won't give up until I get what I want. Cast it to the dogs. That word was used there, pointed out to her unclean beasts that haunt the streets of eastern city but to the tamer animals that were bred in the house and kept as pets the history of Tobias and his dog in the Apocrypha furnishes the one example in this biblical literature of this friendly relation between the dog and his master And we've taken all of that into consideration. She said, look what she says here in verse 27. 
She says, truth, Lord. <laughs> Yo, truth, Lord. I know I'm not from the house of Israel. I'm considered to be a dog by many. She says, but yet the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. When you worship God, he'll change his mind towards you. Can you get no witness in here? Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O oh woman, O oh woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou will. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. I got no time to worry about this and that. I'm bringing my request to the Lord. And I'm going to worship God until he hears me. I'm going to worship God until he helps me. I'm going to worship God until he brings me out. I'm going to worship God until he gives me victory over this. I'm going to worship God until I get what I need. I'm going to worship God and I'm not going back home the same way I came. I got a sick daughter. Somebody got a sick son. Somebody got a sad situation. But if you raise your hands and open your mouth and give him praise. If you raise your hands and open your mouth and give him praise. He'll hear you today. Come on, raise your hands. Let's lift that brother hall. Come on, raise your hands. It belongs. Come on here. To God. It belongs to God. It belongs to God. Oh, the glory, the honor. The praise is all day. It belongs. Everybody, everybody, everybody. To Somebody got a need in your life. Raise your hands. Oh, it belongs to God. It belongs to God. It belongs yes. to God. Oh, all the glory, honor, the honor, the praise is all day. It belongs. Come on here, come on here. To everybody, everybody. God. It belongs to God. It belongs to to God. Somebody discouraged. It belongs. Somebody don't know what to do. To God. All the glory. Oh, 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 the glory. The honor. The honor. The praises. The praises all day. Oh, the glory. The honor. The honor. Praises. The praises all day. All the glory, glory, the honor, the honor, the praises all day. All oh, the glory, the glory, the honor, honor, the praises all day. All oh, the glory, I give you the glory, the honor, I give you the honor, the praises all day. It be long. to God it belongs to God somebody's felt like giving up before you came it belongs to God I'm too close to quit <laughs> I'm too close pack your boxes we're moving. I feel that anointing in the room today. Deals are getting ready to be closed. Contracts are getting ready to be signed. Ways are getting ready to be made. 
God. Doors are getting ready to be open. It belongs to God. It belongs. Slip up your hands and say, even me, Lord. God. Even me, Lord. All of the glory. All the glory. The honor. The honor. Praise this. The praise is all day. It belongs to you. Give him a hand clap of praise, everybody. Well, I'm not going to give up until I get what I want. You're closer today than you've ever been. This woman made her request known. She wasn't of the house of Israel, but she had a need. She didn't go to God fussing. She came worshiping. People shoot her away. He ignored her, but she stood right there. I'm all up in God's face until I can. I'm in his face because my request won't be denied. I'm in his face because he'll have mercy on me. I'm in his face because he'll answer me. Some of you have been suffering in silence. He's getting ready to reward you in public. Couldn't even tell the folk what you were going through. Folk wouldn't even understand. But your blessing is going to be greater than your suffering. Your miracle is going to be greater than your go through. That's why I can't give up. I fainted. I had fainted. I would have fainted unless I believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Somebody raise your hands, open your mouth, and give God praise. Y'all bring me this chair and put it in the middle for me, please. I want to tell you my heart is fixed. My mind is made up. I'm going all the way with Jesus. What about you? Not that chair, this one right here. I'm going all the way with Jesus. What about you? I said, what about you? I said, what about you? The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man does what? Does what? Does what? You've been through all of this, but you're getting ready to sit in heavenly places. I said, you're getting ready to sit in heavenly places. <laughs> yeah. You're getting ready to sit in heavenly places. Everything that happened to you, it had to happen. But you're on your way out. Everything that happened to you, it had to happen. And when God delivers you, you won't owe nobody nothing. Because nobody helped you. If this is going to happen, God's going to do it. I just need somebody to give God praise for what's coming. Give God praise for what's coming. I haven't moved yet, but I see the house. I see it coming. I see it coming. See, sometimes folk don't even understand why you praise God like you praise God. Because I have imagination. Praise them because I have imagination. And I see myself coming out already. Now, sit there if you want to and watch me. I'm going to give you something to watch. Go ahead. I'm going to give you something to watch because what, I, what, what God's got coming to me, every time I think about it, I want to run. Go ahead and run, Reverend. I see that. God's getting ready to flip the script. Flip 
the script in your health. Flip the script on your job. And what they meant for evil, I need somebody to praise right here. And what they meant for evil, God is turning it around for good. And what they meant for evil, what they meant for evil, what they meant for evil, God is turning it around for good. evil God meant it for good you thought that was going to stop me you thought that was going to hurt my feelings you thought that was going to make me quit that made me work harder that made me come back to church me give God glory that may be give God honor you can't stop me you can't stop me you can't block me you can't turn me. We made it. money than I ever made before in my life. See yourself accepting the biggest contract. See yourself accepting the biggest contract. It was it was delayed but it wasn't denied. <laughs> I will get the money. I will get the money. I will get it. I'm getting ready to make. I'm getting ready to make big money, and everybody else is big mad. They big mad, but I'm getting ready. Oh, big money. still talking about what you don't deserve are you kidding me are you kidding me you don't know what I've been through I don't deserve it this is my bonus this is my bonus this is my bonus and we know that all 
all things work together. If I'm about the answer, is working together. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God and are the called according to his purpose. Is working out. ready to be so blessed more the people talk stay focused I told you we're working on the project working on the project it ain't over till God says it's over let me sit in my chair let me sit in my chair and from this chair, I want to tell you things are looking better. Things are looking better for you. <laughs> this time, the mortgage is going to be approved. This time, it's going to work out. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? We're getting ready to give on this word here today. Getting ready to give on this word today. I once was young. Now I'm old. But I've never. Seen the righteous forsaken. No, you see begging bread are you the righteous yeah, come on the answer the righteous the righteous we're going to show on this I'm not going to quit I'm not going to give up until I get what I want that woman came people shoot her Jesus didn't even answer her, but she stayed right there. I'm going to worship God. I'm going to worship my way into a miracle. I'm going to worship my way into a breakthrough. Thou son of David. Hallelujah. I worship God. And you can't tell God how great he is without God showing you how great he is. Be encouraged, saints. We're closer than we've ever been. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the gift and the giver. Give back one hundredfold. Give back one hundredfold today. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you. And we give you glory. And we give you honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. Those of you that are sowing today. I'm sowing into my necks. I'm sowing into my miracle. I'm sowing into it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm sowing $650 today. Amen. I'm sowing, I'm sowing into my necks. I believe God. Some of you can join me with 650. Come on here. 
And if you can, and can't do that, give God a tithe off of it. Come on here. Get something and we're coming. Get something and we're coming. Write your name on your envelope, but you don't report it didn't happen. The tithe is 10% of your gross income, and it should be given to God faithfully. In Proverbs 3.9 it says that you must honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thine increase. Paying the tithe is something every Christian should do as an expression of honor and gratitude for our God. And let the tithe be a reminder that God is the source of all blessings. However, the tithe should only be the beginning. Additional gifts should be given as an offering to further the kingdom of God, not grudgingly and not of necessity, but cheerfully with love. Matthew 6.21 says, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. I invite you to worship God with your tithe today. Give Him glory as the supplier of your needs. Trust Him, test Him, try Him, and give with an expectancy because Philippians 4.19 says, God shall supply all your need according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. This is Bishop Kevin Bond, and I wanted to personally thank you for tuning in to the live broadcast of the Citadel Cathedral of Praise and Worship. Your presence is greatly appreciated. It's giving time at the cathedral. I would like to invite you to give your offering, sow your seed, or bring your tithe. We have several platforms in which you can do it. In. You may give through Cash App, dollar sign, Citadel Cathedral, NY. Or you may give through Venmo, at Citadel Cathedral, NY. You may give through Givelify. Search for the Citadel Cathedral of Praise and Worship and you will find us there. Or you may give through PayPal, Citadel Cathedral NY at gmail.com. Lastly, you may bring your offering into the brick and mortar. We're located at 105 Barbie Street between Jamaica and Arlington Avenues, right here in Brooklyn, New York zip code 11207. We want to thank you again for your love and your support. I appreciate you. Remember, what's coming is greater than what's been. May the Lord bless you real good. Trust that on that.
you today we give you glory and honor as we get ready to partake in the Lord's Supper yes God go with us change it from a natural to a spiritual use in Jesus name amen yo come on if you're at home in the virtual church get something I believe God I believe God I believe him I believe God I believe him I believe God I believe him I believe God. I believe him. I believe God. I believe him. I believe God. I believe him. I believe God. He will do. I believe God. Just what he said. I believe God. He will do it. I believe God. Just like he said it. I believe God. I believe him. I believe God. I believe him. 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 Oh yes, I do. I believe God. I believe him. I believe him. What about you? I believe God. What about you? I believe God. I believe him. I believe God. Yes, I do. I believe God. Yes, I do. I believe God. Yes, I do. I believe God. Has everybody been served? Everybody's standing. Everybody's standing. Everybody's standing. I've been We've been doing communion every Sunday since pandemic. And God's keeping us from COVID. From monkeypox. From polio. He's covering us. Forgiving our sins. Washing us in the blood. Well, I won't give up until I get what I want. On the same night the Lord was betrayed, he took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it and said, take, eat this, represents my body. Eat all of it in Jesus' name. After the same manner, he took a cup when he supped, says, drink this. This represents my blood. It's the meal that heals. It's the meal that heals. Father, in Jesus' name. And I'm on the outside. I believe God. I believe God. Hallelujah. I believe God. I believe God. Father, in Jesus' name, as we leave this place, not in your presence, go with us, turn away death and destruction, every accident and incident. The mother, the robber, the thief, 
Bring us back at the appointed time and your name which is worthy shall be praised. In Jesus' name, every heart say amen. I believe God. 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 Believe it. I believe God. Believe it. I believe God. Believe it. I believe God. I believe him. I believe God. I believe him. I believe God. 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 Yes, I do. I believe God. Yes, I do. I believe God. Yes, I do. I believe God. 